Hello there, it's Hello from SevereWeatherTV.com with the Severe Weather Outlook for July 27th. So what is happening at the moment in the Central Pacific, Tropical Depression Genevieve. In the Eastern Pacific, we now have Hurricane Hernan, or Hernan, don't know about that. In Mexico today, the possibility for intense rains in all of these orange zones, and then the possibility for strong to very strong rains in almost the entirety of the country. In the United States, you wouldn't know it by looking at this map, there's actually a fairly significant strong tornado chance. We'll talk about that shortly. In Canada, severe thunderstorm warnings in the red areas, severe thunderstorm watches in effect in all of those areas. So here's what's happening tropical cyclone-wise. So in addition to these two official storms, you also have these tropical disturbances out there. This is Genevieve, who's apparently barely a tropical depression, and then Hurricane Anon. Uh, hurricane, an hurricane Anon, very good. Hurricane a non passing by Socorro Island at the moment. And according to the NHC, no land hazards associated with this storm, so that's at least good. And then wrong window. So then we also have these areas over here per the JTWC, low chance of tropical cyclone formation on that one, and medium on this area back here. Now back to that window. In the United States, here's an overview of the severe thunderstorm threat for the next few days. And here's what's happening at this very moment. Five tornado warnings in effect at the moment all over the place. Or all, all over this place, basically. And then when we have 16 severe thunderstorm warnings in a lot of areas. And four special marine warnings in effect as of the moment. So here's an overview of all that stuff. Now let's look at the outlook in general. So this is the somewhat scary map. So because of the black hatched area... And it overlaps today with the 10% area. 10% is a pretty high chance of a tornado. And to give it some context, tornado outbreak type days, which are pretty rare, you'll see percentages like 45. 10, so 10%, not exactly tornado outbreak material, but still very something to be taken to respect. Respect that number. So not only a 10% chance for a tornado for this area, but the possibility for the significant tornado. So if you're familiar with the enhanced Fujita scale goes from EF0 to EF5. A significant tornado is defined as an EF2, a greater tornado. So that is where there is a possibility of significant tornadoes today. Wind chance, this would be the probability for 58 mile power and greater winds, so 30% chance for this large region, 5% for a huge area of the country and back there as well. And then on the hill map, we have the black hatched area as well. So this is where there's the possibility for the one inch larger hail in this black hatched area. And let's see how this overlaps. Maybe we could tell. Sort of overlaps, looks like, with the tornado, the large tornado threat. But anyway, that would be the area where there's something indicative that there could be very large hail. So one inch larger hail, two inch larger hail for today. Tomorrow tapers off a little bit. That's at least good. 15% chance for this area, 5% up here. And that is it for today. And hopefully you're staying safe out there.